It is so important for all of us to recognize that all of humanity are created equally and deserve the dignity, deserve the love, deserve the respect of God's original intention. And so when God, through Jesus Christ, reminds us this morning that God is against divorce, this is what Jesus is teaching. Jesus is teaching that in God's economy, in God's world, in God's church, everybody has to be treated with the same amount of love, the same amount of care, and no human being, especially women, especially gays and lesbians and transgender people, especially the poor, whoever is considered less, whoever is on the margin, Jesus is reminding them that when he speaks about no divorce, Jesus is saying we should not divorce ourselves from each other because that is not the intention of God. We're all equal. Our goal as human beings, our goal of discovering who we are in God is to treat each other with the same dignity, the same love, the same respect, the same care that we would seek for ourselves. And this is what it means to be made in the image and likeness of God. And this is what it means for us to hear in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 30, that God created human beings in the image and likeness of God that God created them. So I say to the church, come on, man. Next time you put that reading in there, put the original reading. <laughs> put the one from Genesis chapter 1 so we don't perpetuate this sense that in any way women are an afterthought or women are secondary to men. This is the genius this is the power and this is the challenge of our scriptures for us who follow Jesus Christ to recognize the power of treating every person with the dignity that they deserve.